Hello dear students, good morning to one and all, welcome to this new session and to the new class, a warm welcome to each one of you. I am looking forward to learning with you all in the coming years, let's have an amazing year ahead. I also hope that you all are relaxed, recharged and ready to start a new school year or college year with us. I am so delighted that you are part of our amazing learning community. So as I welcome you all to this new academic session of 2020, you all are aware of the present circumstances due to which we are unable to bodily perform the duty of inducting you all to the new session. So we have resorted to the online mode of induction and education. Myself, Ranjana Gupta, along with my colleague Vijaya Ika ma'am, will be your elective English teacher. We'll be, we will be taking this elective English. So, first of all, I will start with the syllabus. What this syllabus contain? And let's start with the syllabus. So, first of all, what is elective English? This elective English this course is intended to give students a high level of competence in English with an emphasis on the study of literary text. The course will provide you with extensive ex exposure to a variety of rich text of world literature as well as Indian writing in English. So at the end of the each and every lesson you will be get to know about the world recognized poets, writers and essayists. It will also include classics. It develops your sensitivity to the creative and imaginative use of English literature and English language. This course is primarily designed to equip the students to pursue higher studies in English literature and English language at the college level. So the general objective at this stage are to provide you with extensive exposure to a variety of writing in English. It will further expand the learners vocabulary resources through the use of dictionary, thesaurus and encyclopedia. It will develop a taste of reading with delight or discernment. Also, it will develop proficiency in English language, both in receptive and productive skills. At the end of this course, you will get to know or grasp the global meaning of the text. The summary and gist, you will understand how its theme, theme and sub-theme relate. You can also relate to the details provided in the text. You will also able to draw inferences, supplies meaning details, predict outcomes. So you can able to analyze the point of view of the author at the end of this course or at the end of the every text. So now after this English elective, I will be moving on the prescribed book which is very important so in this prescribed books there you are be been given with these three books textbook that is within words but that is published by ncrt fiction the old man and the sea by ernest hemingway drama arms and the man by george bernard shaw so these three textbooks are been given in this class so in vivin words comprises of many things we will be discussing on this later so these three books are available on the online platforms and also in the markets you can buy it from there also from both the platforms now i will be moving on the vivin words what it comprises of this text is very important for you all it comprises of short stories I think you all know about short stories but I here 
I'm giving a brief description of short stories. As you can see that there is number of short stories, a collection of short stories here. So, a short story is a brief work of prose fiction. It has a plot which may be comic, tragic, romantic or satiric. The story is presented to us from one of the many available points of view and it may be written in the mode of fantasy, realism or naturalism. In the story of incident, the focus of interest is on the course and outcome of events. I think you have read, uh, read about the Sherlock Holmes story. There is a story of character focuses on the state of mind and motivation or on the psychological and moral quality of the protagonist. So there are number of stories you will get to know about the, the character, the theme, the sub-theme and many things. No, now I will be moving on to the poetry. This Vivian words also comprises of poetries. Now what are the poetries here? There is a collection of poems. There are, you, as you can see, there are 12 poems in this Vivian words. So what is poems? I think you all know about poems, but I am introducing you all here. The word poetry originates from a Greek word meaning to make. A poet is thus a maker and the poem something that is made or created. No single definition of poetry is possible but some characteristic features of poetry may be mentioned. Poetry has a musical quality with rhythm, pitch and meter and it may use figure of speeches such as simile and metaphor. We'll, we will be discussing on this later. Now, there are examples of haiku and limerick has been included in this Vivian words text to introduce you all to these forms and to make you all look to poetry for fun. So, you all need to set question or test it on this. Now, I will be moving to the essays. The Vivian words, this text comprises of some essays. As you can see, there are seven essays. And the definition of essays. This essays that you have also read in class 10th. An essay is a short composition in prose that undertakes to discuss a matter, express a point of view, or persuade us to accept an idea on any subject. It is addressed to a general rather than a specialized audience. As a consequence, this essay discusses its subject in a non-technical fashion and often with a liberal use of anecdote, illustrations and humor. So, the essay in this unit Provide a wide thematic range. There is an essay, My Watch, which is a humorous relook at the instrument that most of us take for granted. There are a number of essays you will get to know one by one. Now, the fiction and drama. The fiction. The fiction is also called novel here. You are given a book of the Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway, which is available on Amazon or Flipkart, both the online platform. You can buy it from there. So, what is novel? As you can see here in this presentation, a novel is relatively long work of narrative fiction, normally written in prose form and is published as a book. The book that tells the story about the people and event. So in this novel, The Old Man and the Sea, this is actually a long work of Ernest Hemingway. This is a fiction which is written in a prose form. And now it's a book. Of course, it is published as a book. This book is going to tell you a story about certain number of people, the event and many things. 
सो अ नॉवल इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मोड ऑफ फिक्शन और यू विल बी इंटरेस्टिंग इंटरेस्टेड टू रीड दैट देन देर इज ड्रामा ड्रामा इज ऑल्सो नोन एज प्ले ड्रामा और अ प्ले इज अ स्पेसिफिक मोड ऑफ फिक्शन रिप्रेजेंटेड इन परफॉर्मेंस लाइक अ प्ले परफॉर्म्ड इन थिएटर और रेडियो और टेलीविजन सो I think you have read uh, read uh, some of the drama or plays of Shakespeare William Shakespeare world recognized or reckoned uh, poet so this drama is of George Bernard Shaw Arms and the Man it is also available on both of the platforms the Amazon and you can also buy it from Flipkart or from the market now as i have introduced this syllabus of english elective so this english elective is a work of art so in this essays short stories or poems what you have uh, it is a collection of you know what it is it's a literature so i have made a presentation a uh, slide on english literature also because it's very important to have some knowledge of english literature before reading that what is english literature english literature or literature is the work of art which help us to express ourselves through writing it includes novels plays and poetries so before knowing the essays the poems the short stories we have to know about english literature because that is literature it's that is the work of art the poetry the essays the short stories is the work of art whose art the writers art the authors art and what is the purpose behind writing that it helps them the writers to express ourselves or themselves through writing it includes novels plays and poetries the merriam webster dictionary considers literature to be writings having excellence of form or expression and expressing ideas of permanent and universal interest so basically english literature or literature or any kind of literature hindi literature urdu literature african literature every literature it helps everyone to express ourselves through writing through oral presentations anything it also includes the written form of novels plays and poetries and it also helps to you to be a good human being to know this world from a better perspective literature can be also defined as books and other written works especially those considered to have artistic or creative merit or lasting value so literature is very help helpful so now i have already introduced you all with this english syllabus you have to buy the book first before reading that now i am sure that we are here to guide you in every possible manner that we can in all the possible manner wish you all the luck wish you all a grand and successful year too welcome to our college once again thank you have a nice day